where are we vis-a-vis the Iran deal and their regime still being so medieval? Well, I, you know, I mean, I think each of those is a, a, a they're related, but they're they're different. Iran is a primitive regime. It is an anti-Semitic regime. It is a regime that's trying to create nuclear weapons. It's a regime that puts down women and forces them into kind of uh, uh, you know medieval lifestyle, at least the way they appear in public. Uh, you're absolutely right that they have committed egregious human rights abuses in this regard. Uh, they seem to be on the verge of, you know, they've they've had, you know, one leader uh, for the past forty odd years. He seems to be in in ill health, so it seems like there is going to be a, a transition at the top. I wouldn't expect, you know, overnight enlightenment or even any enlightenment. There's a very hardcore uh, group that's been running the country for four decades, and I think they will continue to. Uh, you know, they view you know, they've long said the Holocaust may not have happened, and they've long said they want to destroy Israel, and um, and they long viewed the United States as an enemy, and, and, and you know, for all these reasons, I think we have to view them um, as a threat on many, many levels. Having said that, you know, a nuclear deal, uh, the reason that the Obama administration ultimately entered into it is, you know, a horrible repressive, medieval, anti-Semitic, anti-international law country with nuclear weapons is worse than one without nuclear weapons. And so if we could strike a deal that would stop them from the development of weapons, that would be a good thing, even if it was for a limited period of time. Trump came along, pulled the plug on that deal. Iran's nuclear program immediately sped up. Yeah. And the threat grew that this horrible country would soon be a horrible nuclear country. And, you know, I think there has been some effort to uh, to restore the deal. And it has sort of faded in and out from, you know, being likely sort of like a distant radio signal. But um, it's been complicated by the fact that the Russians have been interlocutors. And obviously we have our issues with the Russians at the moment. Uh, and that people like the Israelis have, you know, continuously been saying, don't do a deal, even though many Israeli leaders have said in retrospect that Trump pulling out of the deal was a big mistake. So, you know, I personally, should we have a deal if we can strike a deal? Yes, we should, because we don't want nuclear Iran. Uh, is Iran a threat? Should it be viewed as a threat? Should we pull together allies and see what we can do to contain that threat? Absolutely. It's a country that not only does not share values with us, which plenty don't, uh, but it's but it seeks to destabilize the community uh, in in the Middle East, and and that could have big negative repercussions for us. 